Well guys, not excited like I used to be. I got some sad news in the fish room. One of my favorite fish, my giant arowana in the monster fish room didn't make it. Um, I noticed that she, Annabelle, aka the arowana, silver arowana was struggling and eating. I knew there's some things that was gonna happen. Um, so I've been monitoring her for the last couple of weeks. As you guys can see right now, I even tried to force feed or try to give him nutrition, give her nutrition, and it just wasn't working. So last night, as you guys can see, Annabelle passed away. Um, it's very unfortunate this happens, but it is part of the hobby. As you can see, we got Messi, Havoc, Shovel Nose, we got Cooper, and we got Goliath Aeropyma. So we do got a lot of fish in that tank. I do my water changes, and there's one thing I want to bring to attention. I'll shoot a later video on this and merge it together, but more important is that in the fish keeping hobby, especially monster fish keeping hobby, sometimes predators just don't get along. Predators meaning that, hey, you know, they all want to eat, they all want to survive, so they can be predators too. More importantly is that when I introduced Goliath, Arapaima, to the tank, something changed the dynamics. I noticed Annabelle wasn't going for the food as fast. I noticed that Arapaima was scared at first, but then, you know, he's the biggest, you know, beast in the tank. Everybody started making way for him because he was the biggest. I noticed over time that when I feed, you know, be it I feed one side where Annabelle was, I use uh, pellets, I've used dry krill, and obviously yeah, I feed my fish um, tilapia, she was going after it. And a couple of times she went towards the bottom of the sea, grabbed it, and spit it out. So that's why earlier I showed you guys the force feeding video because I knew then that there was a problem. I thought it'd get better. Just sometimes the fish dynamics, they do work out, sometimes they don't. Um, I did not move Annabelle out this tank for one important reason. She's in this tank. She's been in the tank for a while. I didn't want to change her environment. And I know just past experience, moving Annabelle from the 40, grow out to the 75 to the 180, that it takes about three or four weeks for her to get used to her environment. I didn't want to shock her again. So probably introducing Goliath to the tank, change the dynamics. Water changes are perfect. I did not do a water test. The reason behind I didn't do a water test is that one, I saw the dynamics changing. So just because you test your water does not mean something else didn't go on in the tank. Our dynamics have changed. Sometimes fish, like human beings, just don't get along. And unfortunately for me, I lost my monster, Arrow, Juan, and Annabelle. So let's get a moment of silence. And the reason why I did that is it used to be about six months ago hard on myself because fish would die. And I'm like, I'm a bad person, I'm a bad keeper, whatever the case may be. Sometimes fish, unfortunately, no matter what you do, they don't survive. Dynamics, water, always showing water changes. I do my water tests. They just things to change. You have to get used to the fact it does happen, but it's not an indication of who you are as a person or as a fish, fish keeper. So, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna like, subscribe, talk soon. Thanks for listening. RJ, monster fish keeper, mental health coach, student therapist, and thanks for listening.